So we will proceed right now, guys, in understanding or in using um, parameters in our function. Okay. So by the way, um, JavaScript function, we can actually include parameters. So when we say JavaScript functions with parameters, uh, a function, it can be one or more parameters. Okay, but it really depends again on the problem or on the program itself. You can actually use one or more parameters, which will be applied or supplied, sorry, by the calling code and can be used inside a function. A JavaScript, by the way, it's a dynamic type of a scripting language. So function parameter can have value of any type of data type. Um, it, can, it could be um, integer, string, um, float or double, long, short, and many more. Okay, so basically this is our syntax in using functions with parameters so we have still the same uh, we have the uh, keyword function then uh, we have our function name then parameter one here and the parameter two here okay don't forget to put your um, expression or the statements inside the curly braces there and here in calling our function again it's the same just like what we did in our previous video but here we need to include the value here for the value number one because this value number one it will be inserted in the parameter one value two it will be inserted in the um, va uh, in parameter number two okay so i will show you an example in example number four okay so let me pull up first my visual studio code yeah let me control n sorry for that okay so i need to save this code first so this is function x4 dot html so html here then i'll put the body inside the body i'll put h1 the purpose of the h1 i just do i just need to put here JavaScript function with parameters. Then after the H1, I can now put the script. Inside the script or the JavaScript, I, uh, a script tag, I need to um, create my function. The function name that I'll be creating, it's function name message. Uh, function name message. Then in the function name message oh, not yet i need to put here first the alert then hello space then plus sign then first name here the first name i'll be using that one later on just one moment then i'll put a space then plus again then last name so basically what will I do here? One moment. Um, this will be our parameters. So the parameter should be first name here, then last name here. Okay. Next one. Uh, since I'm done putting or uh, um, showing or displaying the user what is the value of the first name and the last name, which is which in fact came from the parameters here in the function message uh, i need to put here right now the um, values of my first name and also my last name so for example i'll put here ho one for the first name then i'll separate that one with comma then de la cruz there you go in semicolon and let me try saving and running the program just one moment there you go so it basically runs the program so hello Juan de la Cruz so for example aside from putting the value of Juan de la Cruz we can also add more values in our um, that will be called by our parameter so for example a message one it's Juan de la Cruz a message two 
um, it should be um, for example we have Maria Makiling so you will save that and run the code again so it prompted um, hello Juan de la Cruz then hello Maria Makiling there you go so it's working so let's proceed right now to our example number five. So in example number five, the purpose of this one, it's still the same, just like what we did in the example number four, but I will let you experience, um, there, um, I will let you experience some values that are not present in our, um, in our um, parameter. So for example, I will just, um, change this one along half okay so for example in your values since we only have parameters first name and last name um, we believe that um, the user um, um, the user will only um, have um, two values but there are some cases that you can put here mister so basically this will not display only the first two okay so after that one i need to remove this the maria here i will also remove the comma then i will only show the message there then semicolon then run the program there it shows um, hello Juan de la Cruz here it shows hello Maria because um, it's undefined because there is no um, I'm sorry um, this uh, the second value for the second parameter last last name was not um, inputted next here so it only displayed hello then undefined undefined there you go okay those were the um, differences for our last example for our um, um, for our parameters or for our function with parameters um, the purpose of this one it's we will let the user interact with our um, with our system or sorry with our program so i will let the user input his or her name also um also his or her age so first things first uh i will let the user see first a button once the user click the button um it will let the user input um his or her name and also his or her age okay so let me code it one moment so I will save this code first. Um, function x um, five dot html. HTML here. Okay. So I'll be using a head here. This is uh, for our body. So inside the head, I will use the script script tag a uh, tag. Then inside the script tag i will now create my function say hello then the parameters are name and also the age there you go then i'll put here document that right the name plus is i'll put spaces one moment plus again for concatenation then age plus again then space for years oh one moment then years years old period and semicolon so since i'm done creating my function here um, inside the body i will since i'll be using an input type again we need to use a form tag right so inside my form tag i can now put 
my input height then put the button then use the on click event with that has a value of the hello function a say hello function then inside the say hello function i can now put the value of ivana i'm sorry i will now put the value here of for example the first or the name it's ivana then 16 there you go after that uh, i have value um, but here click me and don't forget to close it let me double check i have a problem here there you go there click me i will save that one after saving it i will now have a chance to reopen or rerun the code so when i click this click me button it will now display ivana is six, 16 years old right so for now i know that i, I said earlier that there will be an interaction but basically for the interaction we will be using return and for the return statement, I will be discussing that one in the next video.